Where do you want that? Hey guys, welcome to our pre IVF vacation vlog. Um, I'm really tan because I spray tanned last night to fit in with all the South people who are always tan because it's always hot year round. We have our stuff ready to go. Don't mind all our shoes over there. But as you can see, I have to bring, this is all my progesterone stuff. I have the drawing needle, the injection needle. I have obviously my update card, progesterone itself. And then I forget what those are. But I also, I just think I need to get some alcohol swabs. I'm glad that I showed you guys this because I am missing my swabs. Oh no, they're in there. They're back there. So I have the swabs too. I'll be starting the progesterone shots the day after tomorrow. So Saturday night, by our second night there, we will start those. Thank gosh my mom has been a nurse like 20 something years and she can actually show my husband how to do it so that'll be interesting i'm just glad that it worked out maybe i'll feel better about that my mom actually being there helping us with the first shot but yeah we are like super excited to go and this was very last minute we just decided that we wanted to do something i was able to get my work stuff scheduled around for me to be off thursday through um, up until Wednesday morning when I go back to work. So it's going to be a fantastic drive, hopefully. Um, <laughs> I think it's good that we're traveling tonight because it's Thursday night instead of traveling on Friday because the Memorial Day traffic shouldn't be as bad tonight. I'm hoping not as bad tonight. And I keep staring at myself because I'm so tan, but I'm going to shower it off tonight when we stop because I'm a little, I'm a little dark. But yeah, it looks really good. My husband tanned me he's such a trooper but yeah i am wearing my aaron williams diaper bag i talked about this on instagram when i did the unboxing so as you can see it is amazing it's everything that i hoped it would be i kind of unboxed it on instagram this is holding all of my um hair stuff and makeup it's holding like my blow dryer my two curling irons my straightener and my makeup so it was perfect and handy to travel with and we might use it as a day bag when we go to atlanta to keep all my stuff in my camera and all that good stuff so let's get on the road Okay, 
we drove through the night, we took turns, and we're having a very interesting discussion. And naturally, I need my subscribers to weigh in on this. So I'm gonna ask you guys a question, and I need you to pause the video and go comment down below what you think. So we're having this discussion about like, um, there's a helicopter pilot like Facebook page, and they're talking about how women just, oh, they love pilots, and women all love pilots. But I don't really give a crap when I meet someone what their job is, as long as it makes them happy. Like, I don't really care. Um, so I'm wondering, because we're having this discussion right now, what career do you think is like a hot career? Like, when you meet someone, if they say they're a cop, is that like a hot career? Or like, if they're a doctor, or, or if they're an accountant, or whatever. Like, comment below, like, what job you consider to be like, hot. Pilot. And Brian's like, oh yeah, pilots. I could care less if Brian was a pilot. Like it makes him, he loves it, so I love it for him. But I don't like care. Like if I met Brian and he worked at, if he was a manager at Starbucks, I would still have dated him. I don't think it should matter, but he is just trying to argue a point about what a hot career is. A hot career. So comment down below if you think that pilots are hot too. This is how men are, you guys. I can't. Please, I want to know the for real. I want to know what you guys think. Like, what's a hot career? Hi, honey. Oh, Aspen. We're here. We, I, we showered. We got ready. We're going to my favorite restaurant of life. If you're ever in South Alabama, you need to go to this restaurant. Um, it's called Blue Plate. It's amazing. So I'm wearing just a yellow tank top with my Michael Kors necklace. And then I'm also wearing my Stitch Fix jeans. And I'm wearing the Kate Spade Keds shoes. Sorry guys, the sun here is like so bright. That was record timing. I got ready really fast. What do you think? Forever, I thought. But it took like only an hour instead of like an hour and a half. Pretty good timing. Long, but I had to shower and wash my hair though. That's what took so long. It's like the washing and drying process and then re-fixing it. Men don't understand. So this restaurant, there's two in the town of Dothan. So if you're ever in South Alabama driving through or visit, um, it's called the blue plate or just blue plate? What's it called? The or no the? I don't know. There's two of them. There's one on the south side of town and one on the north side of town. And there's also one, I think, in Birmingham, maybe? Montgomery? Somewhere north. I can't remember which city it's in. I'll find out and I'll probably put it right here. But there's another one up there for those of you who live here that are north. I know a lot of you subscribers are from Alabama, so you probably already know of blue plate or you've heard of it. If you haven't, you have to go there and eat because it's amazing. I also got my hair done last week. I put that poll on Instagram about going red, but I decided not to even though like half of you said yes, half of you said no. I'm just not emotionally ready to do it and I don't wanna pay for doing it every like four weeks because that's ridiculous. So she just did like a half balayage. She just brightened pieces that were already there. And yeah, so it should be good to go for the summertime. $27 to get your haircut? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mine cost, I think, $38 and I get a massage. to get my haircut. And I get a head massage. I don't get a head massage when we get haircuts. I get the... Do you guys get a head massage whenever you guys get haircuts? MVP, it's a special package. Oh, an MVP package. As sports clips. Oh. Kylie, if you're watching this, I want a massage for my next haircut. It feels great, too. Their nails just do. How do they do it again? Uh, you don't. <laughs> he just left Blue Plate. And I didn't want to vlog my meal because it was like packed full of people. But I had turnip greens and fried okra with my meal. That's the life. Isn't it? And Brian had a grilled chicken salad. And when the waiter brought it out, it was like a different person than our, who was waiting on our table. 
he tried to give me the salad and Brian the steak with the two sides and Brian's like, no, that's hers. <laughs> yet. So we're gonna go ahead and close the vlog here. This is a wrap on day one. Um, we are going out tonight to a hospital themed bar. They're not gonna light cameras in there. I can already tell you that right now. And it's gonna be busy Memorial Day weekend. So we're gonna hang out with um, a married couple friend of ours that we don't get to see that often. My best friend's name is Anna. I've mentioned her before on my channel. But yeah, we're really excited. Look how handsome Brian looks. He is not an anything to drink yet. <laughs> He's just always wacky like that. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow in our day two. In the life, it'll be more fun because it'll, we're going to Six Flags over Atlanta and it'll be like a whole a lot more fun than this vlog was. Sorry, it was kind of like lame, but you know, we're enjoying the time away. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.